I don't have a net. Oh, uh, we don't need a net. Nice fish right there. Three quarters to a pound. Yep. Park Twain Lake. Look at that thumper, strike three fishing dwarf hair jig right there buried in him. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is February the 3rd, correct, John? Uh, February 3rd, isn't third it? Is, yeah. yeah. February 3rd, it's a Saturday morning. We got uh, sunny skies. I'm here with my buddy John Brewer. You guys have seen him on at least one other video. We had one spring when during the spawn. We were corking some crappie, but he got himself a new boat, a new Skeeter ZX200. It's a 2023, and uh, we're going to go take it out on his maiden voyage today he called me up said come along let's uh go take this puppy out because this is the exact same boat i got but i've got a 17 model he's got a 23 so uh he's got it pretty much decked out uh john you want to talk about what all you you got on it here um uh, i put the ultrax 36 volt 112 pound thrust on there i've got the all aboard marine for the live scope Let's go check. Let's go check that out. Let's go check this. Yep. I've got the Garmin LVS 34 with a 1222 screen set up front on a stowaway mount. Um, lithium batteries in the back for the trolling motor. And they're 50 AHs, but I can go all day and they only be at 80 percent. I mean, lithium is is so great. I've got room for two more batteries in the back and I think I'm going to go ahead and put another battery back there and just do a dedicated battery for my all my electronics except for my live scope. My live scope's already dedicated on a battery, a 32AH amped outdoors battery and it's black box and everything's over there in the side compartment. Um, everything's been rigged up. Uh, like I say, going to be maiden voyage to go out and and see if everything works yes sir and he does he mentioned he's got the all aboard marine uh this is the one you control by hand uh he's got the pole you stick in there and you can you can move it so we're gonna try to utilize that a little bit today show everybody all that good stuff he's got the pole in there somewhere that's yeah, it that's yeah that's it he's got the pole there from all aboard marine if you haven't checked out all aboard marine if you're looking for a live scope mount to uh, use your uh, spot lock along with uh, you know obviously being able to move your uh, live scope transducer on the fish and spot lock at the same time check out all aboard marine they got you covered on that so uh, anyway we are going to try to go out run the boat a little bit go out and try to catch a few crappie for everybody and uh, see what kind of footage we get and see if we can catch these March 20 lake crappie the lakes come up five or six foot since we've uh, had all this uh, ice and snow and had a little bit of rain the lake is limited as far as where to run because the lake is still frozen in some areas but uh, we're down here at the uh, dam area and uh, it's open so we're going to go see if we can't find a few crappie for everybody so uh, stay with us and uh, let's go catch some fish man this has got to be the longest walk to a boat ramp on Mark Twain Lake right here at Ray Barron's. We're going downhill now. You got to come up and get your truck if you're by yourself. You got to go up and it's a workout. Quiet. This is how you get in on a winter time with no walkways. Got you a nice keel guard. Ease it up here. And step on in. Should have left that down. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you this right now, I can see a lot better. This is closer than I can in my, my trite. Right. Because I set up higher than my trite and I set down. Down, yeah. Picky, ain't they? Yep. Got that one, don't you? Yep. 
just a small one. He was out right. down there a little deeper. First, First fish, fish in the boat. boat. You want me to get a picture of it? There you go. <laughs> there it is. Good work. Mark Twain Lake, eight incher. <laughs> First one of the new skeeter. He was down there at about 22 foot. Yeah, he was down there. He was the one down deeper wanted it. The ones up top didn't want it. That, look at that, look at that drop. It's going right down there. Get him. Ooh, they scared. There's wiggling. He's looking at it. Wiggling. Here he comes. I've got that hair jig right in there on. I'm right in a bread basket. I got one looking at it, two or three looking. Come on. Got him. There you go. I got him. He come out of that tree. That's a good fish. Feels like a good, nope. He's an eater. Well, yeah. There, look at that. Little thumper hair jig, dwarf hair jig right there. Not a very big fish, but he thumped it like he was. Yeah. And he swallowed that sucker. <laughs> Nine inch fish. There he is, right that there, is Roma. A fish. That is a fish. Here, that's a Romer. He's out that there. Is a He's fish. out there. There, I'm going right down to him. Right down to this Romer. We're gonna see if he likes the old hair jig. I'm gonna bring it up to him real easy and keep it above him a little bit. There you go. See if I can get him to turn and move, and he's coming. There he is. There he is. Got him. That's a good fish. Got him. That's a good fish right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't have a net. Uh, we don't need a net. Pound fish. Nice fish Three right quarter. there. Three quarters to a pound. Yep. Park Twain Lake. Look at that thumper strike three fishing dwarf hair jig right there buried in him. Boom, Roman fish. Yep. You're not gonna keep any today, are we? Or do you wanna keep? I, it's I don't, up to you. I don't, don't wanna keep it. I mean, you hooked him deep. Yep. You wanna keep him? Yeah, he's gonna die. Yep. Flame up, I guess. Let me get him rinsed off here. I don't want to get new blood on your new boat. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Man, he just, he come right up to it, and I, I never felt a bite either. No, I, I saw him. You could tell that he You could he tell he was, he was, he took it. Yeah, you could tell he took could it. tell he took it. I need to clean that live well. Yeah. Tell that. Well, that fish right there came on the Strike 3 Fishing Signature Series dwarf hair jig right there. Beautiful fish. So uh, let's go get some more. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put him in the box. Uh, I got him a little deep. We're just going to see if he if he's going to make it. And if he makes it, we're probably going to release him because I don't think we're really wanting to keep any fish today. But we'll see how he does at the end of the end of the day today, where we quit. I'm getting in behind that tree. That's all right. I'm, I'm going right there, buddy. He might move up to it. Yeah, oh, here, he here he comes. Oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. Got him. There he goes. Better fish too. Yeah. yeah, he'd be he's an eater. He's a. He's an eater. He's a nine incher. Mark Twain Lake eater right there. You don't want to keep any day, do you? I don't. I don't either. That's on the old Wild Willie's OCD wall bash and the Thumperdorf pillhead right there, granite, eighth ounce. 
Johnny got one. Is it an eater? Nope. Nope. Another Mark Twain Lake 8. Maybe six. Now nah, he's probably <laughs> seven or eight inches. He gone. A little bumper pill with a yeah. killer bait on it. Show us what you're using there. That's just a straight gold. Oops. That's the old gold thumper dwarf head. The old gold dwarf with a six killer one inch. Yep. Yeah, we just finished up. John's wiping down the new boat. Only got a couple scratches on it today, didn't you? But you don't uh, get no scratches, you ain't catching fish. That's right. And today we didn't really catch a lot of fish, as you all seen on the video. We just was out pretty much playing with his new boat. You know, I did catch that one good one on that uh, Strike Three Fishing Thumper Dwarf Hair Jig. And he caught two or three smaller ones. I caught maybe one or two other smaller ones. That's about it for the day. But uh, all in all, good time, good day. It's the first time I've been out on Twain since uh, the cold front hit and the snow and ice and all that. So they just didn't want to plague too good today. We didn't really find a lot of fish either. So uh, anyway, we're going to keep looking and uh, hopefully get some more videos out for you all here in the next coming weeks. So. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel. Really appreciate you joining me today. And uh, have a great weekend. And we'll see you guys out on the water soon. Y'all have a great day.